Hey, what up? It's your boy, Chef Boudreaux. Today, I'm going to be bringing y'all this Korean dish. Basically, it's sharp, braised sharp ribs, but it's called Kobe Jin. So, I'm just going to go right into the whole thing of the ingredients. We got some sharp ribs here. Right here, we have a Korean pear. Looks like an apple, but it's a pear. And we got some onion. We got the... We got some garlic and ginger. We have soy sauce. We have sugar here. And also, we got right here the kachuguru. <laughs> if I'm saying it right. Basically, this is red pepper flake. You could use cayenne if you need, uh, if you don't have it. Um, I just ground it up. And you could also use paprika. Or you can mix them together. Booyah. Okay, so we have some onion here too. This is basically going to be going into the cooking process of the rib. Now, first we're going to start by telling you, I'm going to start by telling you that these ribs were soaked for about at least two hours. You let them soak an hour, rinse them off, soak them again for another hour, and then blot them dry. So actually, I already did that process. So, and right here, we're going to start, this is the boiling process. So, this is a radish. Basically, it's a Korean radish. Translation, daikon. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut all this off, and we're going to dice those up for the boiling process. But, what we're going to do first is we're going to make the Kobe Jin sauce, which is made with all these ingredients here. And this is dark soy sauce, by the way. So, I would use my ninja, but it's too loud. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this sauce. So, follow me over here so I can show you how to make it. Okay. We got half onion. We got, like, maybe two tablespoons of ginger. I got about ten garlic cloves because I like that. Some sugar. Yep. And we got the soy sauce. Ooh, that's dark. And also we're gonna I'm gonna cut that pear for you. Uh we got the pochukuru right here. And I'm going to go ahead on and hit this pear up real quick. It's only a half of the uh, Asian pear. Looks like an apple. Check it out. Looks like an apple. So I'm going to cut that pit out. And we're going to dice and throw that in. Just half. If you don't have the pear or you can't find the pear, just go ahead and use an apple. But pear is better. I'm gonna throw those in there. Skin on for the rough. If you don't like the skin, take it off. Optional. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Kid play. All right, so here we go. I'll put this top on. We're gonna pause for a while. Oops, it'll work if I plug it in. But <laughs> Give me a break. All right. Here we go. All right. Ooh. The dog right there. Boy, if you had smell of vision, look at that. That's what it's going to look like. All right. So we're just going to set this aside right here. And we'll tell you what this process is going to lead to. So now, we're going to do... So I'm going to move this apple, I mean, pear, sorry. And, you know what, instead of using, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this up right quick. I know I should have used my, uh, peeler, but, since I got y'all watching, I might as well just do it like this. And we ain't using that much of 
this. We're just going to square this up, right? This is all we're basically going to use. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to put in our uh, ribs. And we're going to pour them for about five to ten minutes. All right. So now we're going to cover them in water. Make sure they're covered. Boom. That's about eight cups of water right there. We set all this stuff aside. And then we're going to go in and add in our boiling ingredients. Our onion. We got onion. Garlic. I got about five garlic cloves. About another two tablespoons, but that's diced. Uh, ginger. We got some green onion. And we got some peppercorn. So now what we're going to do is let this boil for about five to ten minutes. Oh, I forgot. The ranch. Boom. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, look. We boil and we going. Now, this is what you want to do. So you can have a clear stock after. You want to skim off this fat. Just try to take it off. Take off as much as you can. So all you're doing is skimming the fat. So like I said, this is going to cook for 10 minutes. I'm going to take them out. And then we're going to put it back in with the sauce. All right. So you want to skim. This we call this in culinary school, skimming the scum. So you want to skim the scum off as much as possible. In that 10 minute time, all right? So now, I took the liberty of taking out the ribs and then I strained the broth of stock in here. So what I'm gonna do now is place the ribs back into this clean pot. Once we add the sauce, we're going to go ahead and mix these ribs. Toss these ribs on over into this sauce. Get them all nice and covered. We're going to turn the fire on. Uh, to a medium high. Right. Once we cover the ribs, we're gonna add about three cups of the stock just to cover the ribs again. All right. Then what we're gonna do is let this cook for about 30 minutes. We wanna make sure the ribs and save your water. I mean, save your stock because it's going to start to cook down. Now this is supposed to be cooked with the top off. But if you want, since I'm cooking in the Dutch oven, you can cover it because it kind of helps the meat to tenderize a little bit more. Or if you have a pressure cooker, you can go ahead and use one of those. And do the same process. Just put it in your pressure cooker. Add all your ingredients in. And let, that, let it go ahead and do its thing for about 30 to 45 minutes. This right here. These are the ingredients that are going to go in. I have carrots, I have green onion, I have some Yukon Gold potatoes, and also I have some shiitake mushrooms. Okay, can't find shiitake, you can use button. Um, in that broth that I made, or should I say stock that I made, <clears throat> I added just a little bit of marin in it. If you don't have marin, you can use rice wine vinegar. 
just a tad bit because it's strong. So as you can see, they're starting to come to a boil. And then we're going to come back. We're going to add those ingredients and let it cook for about another 30 minutes. Or until the meat is tender. You want this meat to be very tender. So at this stage, I'm going to put my on and let it cook on medium. Okay, medium fire. Got this boil going on. I went on and added that extra liquid because it started to cook down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my green onion, my carrots, my potatoes, add these shiitake mushrooms, and let this go and cook for about another 30 minutes on the medium. And we are going to check back after because, of course, this will cook down again. Leave that bone in, man, because that bone causes that meat to tenderize as well. So, we're going to let this go ahead on and cook. And then we're going to come back with this finished product. We're going to plate this up. Man, this meat is going to be so tender. I promise you it will. I'm going to set my timer to about another 30 minutes. And then we're going to let this go ahead on and simmer and cook down. We done, we done, we done. Check this out. Look at that. Mm-hmm. What about to be some good eating? I'm about to put the cheese on mine. Two things. Put this in a brawler. Oh. And there you have it, folks. That is your garbage gin, Korean. This is my hmm. boy. That ain't some good eat. This is boy, Chef Rujo, man. Look, real quick. Check out the logo, man. Shout out to Gail P Designs for hooking up this logo for your boy. Also, getting it embroidered on my chef jacket. I don't even know why I even got these on. Somehow they kind of jumped on me, but that's okay. But this some good eat, man. Shout out to Gail P. Designs. You can go ahead to her uh, page on Instagram. This your boy, Chef Boudreaux, baby. You already know what it is. You already know how I get down. Peace to my folks.